We live, baby. Hey, everyone. What's going on? Good afternoon. Well, good night. All right. Let's share it. Let's share it with the world. Hey everybody. Okay, I shared mine. You shared yours? Sharing it right now. Oh, right everybody now. coming in. Hey guys. All right, oh, let me come. Me and I was about to send something. <laughs> what? I'll send you something. You said that. I'm here. Hey guys, how is everyone doing tonight? Should I bring it closer? Happy holidays. It is now December. I feel like everybody started celebrating Christmas already. Those who don't care about Thanksgiving, but it's actually December now and we can say we're prepared for the holidays. Ugh. Let's bring you guys a little closer. A little closer. Oh, hey sorry, everyone. Man. What? You're not sending? No, let me send. All right, so take your time right now before we start and send this to at least three friends, right? Let's run the numbers up just a little bit and then we're going to start cooking. Tonight is a really, really simple meal. And if you guys watched the live from before, we are doing the race to, um, what is it called, babe? <laughs> the weight loss race to Christmas. That's what we're doing. The weight loss race to Christmas. And, um, and so it's only going to be healthy meals. So, add a friend, tell a friend, tell them to come through, join the show. Um, tonight's going to be really quick and really fun. A really fun intro. Okay. Can you guys hear us? What are y'all cooking? All right. Keep talking. All right. So, we are going to start. We're just gonna start. So send it to your friends. I'm gonna give you guys one more minute before we do start. Send it to your friends. And then I'll let you guys know what we're cooking tonight and what's about to go down. It's about to go down. Alrighty. All right, so let's just get into it. Tonight we are making cauliflower jambalaya. Okay, and so if you guys know jambalaya, it's a southern dish on um, New Orleans and they just put all the good flavors in there and it's usually done with rice. If you guys watched the last live, like I said before, I don't like to cook rice. So earlier this year when um, we decided to, you know, go on our little weight loss journey, we're just like, what can we do to replace rice? And I think a good friend of ours was like, you know, try cauliflower rice. And I just thought it would have been disgusting. But it happened to be literally the best, the best thing to ever happen to me. Amazing. Like, we are absolutely... You waving to the people? <laughs> we are absolutely um, in love with cauliflower rice. He definitely is, which was like a plus. Because anytime uh, it's any diet, anything, he is the one to be like, no. I don't want to do it. You can do it by yourself. Time. Right. But no, this is a hit. And so I decided to like, all right, so let's do a jambalaya. Let's do a jambalaya with cauliflower rice. And I'm telling you, it's quick. It's easy. It's packed with flavor. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Get so into it. Yeah. what we're going to have today, we have our shrimp. This is about like 30 pieces of medium shrimp. I have my turkey kielbasa sausage. I have some scallion, and I have bell peppers. Um, also, we're going to be using some roasted tomatoes, right? That's going to pack some flavor into. Um, baby, you want to tell them what you're doing tonight? I'm making a uh, white grape sangria. A you white grape? You hear me? White. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A white Ooh. berry. White berry sangria. He just came from work, guys. So <laughs> forgive him a sucker. <laughs> Literally. That's why we're going to be starting our lives a little bit later because of his schedule. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So, what yes, you make yes, for yes. White berry sangria. A white I got berry some, sangria. Uh, Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. I got some raspberry, blueberries, and strawberries. Mm -hmm. Who else loves, like, fresh berries? Like, they could just eat this bowl. Oh, this and is like 
going down. Yeah, and it's a very simple um, situation he's doing too. So tonight, yeah, tonight we're keeping it light. We're we're doing everything really, really quick. Um, So this can literally be one of the recipes you put in your back pocket. Like, oh, I got somewhere to go or I just want to. Yeah, like 30 minutes or less. This is a 30 minutes or less meal. Like, I promise you guys. So let's get into it. Um, It is the holiday season. So what is our first? Topic to ask the people tonight while I chop up some scallions. That's what we're gonna do. This. We're gonna prep. You wanna know so, who is losing weight? That's it. <laughs> I'm sure that whoever's in here, he's trying. He's trying to lose weight. Listen, I know. I know my 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 baby was losing some weight. Uh, so the first, the week after, guys, that we um, said that we we're gonna do the race to the weight loss race weight to loss Christmas, Christmas. What I did, um, I was just like, first of all, I gotta see if I got, I got the mindset to actually lose weight before I tell people to get on this little journey with me. And so, what I did was, um, I was just like, all right, let me get my salads, things that I'm gonna show you guys, you know, in the coming weeks. Um, I started back with my salads. I don't know if you guys seen in my stories, but you guys also see me complaining because Instagram been hating on your girl. I yeah, have not posted. The birds. What's going on here? You would have thought we was like big up or something, we right? Big up, big up. <laughs> but I haven't posted a reel or anything in a week. They just been giving me trouble. But when I did post, I showed you guys that I've been making like these goat salads, which we're gonna do next week. But um, I lost five pounds already. Hey. So I remember we said it was gonna be a five pound challenge. Your girl then did it. So what's up? <laughs> Your girl did it already. So I lost one pound. So I did you? Did you? Did, did you? Did you lose any weight? I lost one pound. That's when you use the bathroom and you drop the pound. That's how I use the bathroom. I drop the pound, you heard? So, thank you. Thank you, Tere. Yes. Ten claps for me. But, yeah. And so, um, no. We're, we're definitely doing this. And then because we're going to Jamaica next year, yeah, I'm just mine. like, yeah, mine, your no girl problem. has to get right and tight, looking right. absolutely good. So, we are going to put our scallion to the side now. Um, it's not garbage. Oh, I'm about to say. Now, we're going to cut up the bell pepper. How do you guys cut your bell peppers? I feel like I love cutting it this way because it's just like, in case I want to, I can make this a bowl. But yeah, this is how you should do it. So we're gonna, okay. we're gonna chop this up. Yeah, how's everybody week? How's your weekend going? Right, weekend how is finished? everybody doing? How was church today? Cause I know most of you guys went to church. And then? How was the word? Talk to me. What's going on in y'all? Talk life? to me nice. I don't talk at all. You know what it is? I feel like you're so used to like doing a bunch of stuff that we did for Thanksgiving. You don't know what to do. Complete don't lawlessness. <laughs> Complete. I'm talking to the people then. How can you, make can you please make a Bayesian dish on live? Of course. What of course. What's that look like? I don't so know. What do you guys want to make? You guys want me to make the, the, the national? If I'm making cuckoo, it has to be bread for cuckoo. I do not like regular um, cornmeal cuckoo because yeah. I don't like um, I don't like okra. It's slimy, and so um, it would have to. I would do the national dish, but I'm telling yeah. you now, it's gonna be bread for cuckoo. But my bread for cuckoo um, ah, um, recipe is a one. It's already on my website. If you guys want to go check it out. All right, so I am just cutting up my peppers. Hey, father-in-law, your weekend was great. What did you do? Did you guys go out to eat? You guys are always going out to eat. Um, yeah. I'm thinking if I want to use the whole pepper or just half of each. Hey, guys. going to be a lot of Everyone that is coming in now, we are making cauliflower jambalaya. We are getting rid of the rice. This is the weight loss race to Christmas. 
You don't gotta say hi to everybody, babe. <laughs> this is the um, weight loss race to Christmas. So what's on the menu tonight? Yes. So like I was saying, cauliflower jambalaya. So we got shrimp in there. We got turkey kielbasa. We're putting all the peppers and the onions and all the Cajun and girl. All that, all that good up. Every, all the good up, good up is going in here tonight. Okay. It's the bartender making. And the bartender. Do you do you know what you're making? I know. I you know, know now. <laughs> white berry sangria. Right. I said great last time. Yeah. White berry. White berry. So I'm just cutting up my peppers. All right. So right here I have some scallion. Can you guys see? I feel like the comments be like blocking. But I love these colors. Right? I have my scallion. I have my onion. Um, and I have my my sweet bell peppers. Mm -hmm. All right. And now I'm just going to chop up the sausage. Like I told you guys, this meal is quick and easy. Under 30 minutes. Oop. Y'all seen that? Home. Yeah, no. Go home. Um, under 30 minutes. 30 minutes or under, depending on if you're talking in the kitchen or not. But this 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 goes pretty easy, pretty quick. So this is a meal that I definitely got want you guys to try. So in the because I feel like I'm compelled because everyone else is to talk about like holiday stuff and Christmas things and all of these things. Um, and I'm just like, okay, I'll introduce myself again. I am the Grinch. <laughs> okay. I am not like the Christmas spirit jolly um you know like that kind of person yeah. like it's christmas and i get it and i feel like i was raised in a way where like it's supposed to be about christ you go to church and you know all that other stuff but it's not like What's there is on, no bro? holiday spirit if that makes sense it's, there's just like oh, okay it's christmas you, you chill with family you do whatever um yeah, so that's really what Christmas is to me. And so, therefore, I became the Grinch because I'm not just ex as excited as everyone else. But, um, yeah, who else loves Christmas? Or, or do I have a couple of Grinches in the comment section? Let me know. Do we have some Grinch? No Grinch. Buddy. It's just me. It can't just be me. Like, you guys can't all love Christmas. Well, how do I explain it? I don't hate Christmas. I just don't have the chair or the extra chair that everyone has around this time. And I also want to know, do you have this holiday chair because, the people. like, peer pressure? Mm -hmm. Like, is it real? Is it like, oh, okay, yeah, holiday, I want to post something cute on Instagram. Or I want to, you know, do this and do that. Or Christmas like, is for the kids. Yeah, and then if you got like a big family, you know, everybody gonna want to do something, so pull up to you know auntie house or whatnot. How, how about we let's normalize just chilling with our families and having good food, um, not around the holidays? Because I feel like that's what I would want to do. Yeah, but you know what it is. Some people look forward to that. Adult for Christmas for myself somehow. Some people look forward to the holidays. If you working and you get off. You'll normally, okay. you know, you'll normally go out or whatnot. You're looking for no, but I feel like party. like Christmas is such a big deal, and I'm just like, besides Jesus, it's not. Mm -hmm. And you spend so much money. Um, but I want to. Okay, so here's what I would say: Christmas is for the kids, and I know that I'm going to fake a lot of cheer when I do have children. Like my kids are gonna have the entire experience. I'm not gonna rob them of that, right? But um. As far as I want to make an adult Christmas for myself, how, how would you do that? Oh, just to show you guys, you know, I'll be talking and not thinking, but um, here you go. Um, this is all of our prep. We have our scallion, we have our bell peppers, we have our turkey sausages. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season our shrimp. Yes. Okay. We gotta make sure we get them Cajun flavors in there. How much you use? Alrighty. So, we are going to lightly season our shrimp. 
because we are going to not heavily, but we're gonna make sure that Listen, that jambalaya hit. Awesome so That's we're just gonna lightly season this with. Should do all I'm gonna do about. All right, so give me a bowl. Or give me a tissue. Man, I don't know. Maybe a classy Christmas with some chocolate covered strawberries and wine. Oh, chocolate Ooh. covered strawberries. <coughs> oh my god, the season got me. I'm sorry, guys. Um, no, see, so I like that. Like, I just had a pajama party, um, a holiday pajama party with my book club. Shout out to them, When Women Read, and it was fun. But it's just like I would have done that throughout the year, so I don't consider it a, a a Christmas thing. The only thing that I guess made it holiday was the fact that I did a, um, a hot chocolate bar. But I would do events all throughout the year. Yeah, but you know, you can't put a hat, a Santa Claus hat, and Christmas <sighs> colors and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna so put next, next live. You gotta have wear a, a Grinch mask. Yeah, I need I need a Grinch mask. All right, so I put. Um, uh, a teaspoon of Cajun, right? Like I said, we are lightly seasoning. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of paprika. Baby, you need something to do? You yeah. slipping and sliding behind me. I feel like I'm Listen, getting I'm a you. No, no don't manage me. This is my time. Shall come. It, it should, and I'm gonna do the same thing you're doing to me. <laughs> Let me take a seat. No, mm -hmm. you know what it is because yeah. we make multiple meals, and today is not this day. We're making relax. one good meal. Get to relax, right? To relax. All right, what was that question we said we were gonna ask them oh, true. about like giving gifts and stuff around the holiday season? That's the worst holiday gifts you have ever. Yes, yeah. All right, so, so are you gonna ask them? Sure, I'll read it. So, what is the best or worst holiday gift you have ever given? Or re or and received so e or either yeah the best or the worst so I'll just let you guys know I just put some paprika in here some Cajun seasoning some parsley um cayenne garlic well I'm about to put cayenne um I'm gonna put some obey obey gonna be good right I always use this for any seafood that I do thank you. Right, yeah, do, yeah, do that. <laughs> um, and let me put my cayenne because I just want a little bit of a little kick, you know. We need that little bit of kick, and now I'm going to massage. This is a uh, yeah. Okay, that's the question. Um, hey, whoever is joining, we are making jambalaya tonight the healthy way but still the flavorful way. And the question that I just asked, or Babe just asked was, what is the worst holiday gift that you have ever given or received? The best was probably some Uggs that I got from the homie Stringer, but he doesn't talk to me anymore. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He don't talk to me anymore. I can't. All right. Look at this. Season shrimp. All right. Look. This, look at how easy it is. If you guys tuned in to the last three lives, the, the rush for Thanksgiving, yeah, with all them right. sides and everything, it literally was all these steps. Guys, I'm done. I'm done prep. That's it. Literally. Like... Where we're already like basically halfway finished. Now everything is literally like I said, it's a one pot meal, meaning nothing to to wash up. All yeah, of that. I nice. like that. Oh yeah, because he washes the dishes, not me. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I guess I'll say um the worst gift. I don't give bad gifts. He's lying. <laughs> Thank you. You know what's crazy? I wasn't even going to embarrass you on this live tonight. I wasn't. I consider, but George, I don't consider my gifts bad. It's from the heart, so it was good. If I gave you a, a, a metal spoon from the heart, it's a good gift. It's all about the heart. 
If he gave it with good intentions, that's that's their problem if they don't like it. George is the worst <laughs> gift giver no, in history of gift giving. Okay, no, like not. not even Christmas. I remember when we were dating, right? I don't mind going out, spending money, or me telling you, hey, you know, I want this, and you get this. Yeah. But no, George no. would be like, oh my God, I remember these things. Like, Go ahead, say one, say one was a bad gift for the holidays. Talk to me nice. First of all, I make sure I say what I want. That's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about gift giving and, no. and bad gifts really quick. No. Just to let them know. He literally, um,. What was it? It was just like, and the thing is, I get excited because I never used to get a lot of gifts like that. So I was just like, oh, I'm really, really excited. And he used to be at work talking about, oh, I have something for you. It's a surprise. And all my hopes and dreams are building up, waiting for him to come home. And it would be like a notepad. And like, it was a Hello Kitty notepad and a pen. Or Because it was a gift. It wasn't a, it wasn't a Christmas gift, a birthday. It was a gift. I seen something, I thought about you, so I bought it. Like, I don't understand. Call me ungrateful. Grinch. I'm the Grinch. Exactly. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just like a notepad. Saying, like, saying what, if, Uber, what am I going to do with this? Or he will, like, come home with, like, these do random it. things. And I'm just like. It's a gift. It's not. It's right. Listen. You didn't know I was getting it. All he's doing is making the house a treasure, a treasure house or something like that. Because I'm, I'm sure these things were not for me. Because he likes knick-knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. He likes all of the, the little things. And he legit, I'm just like, and he gave it to me. And my face just, thanks. <laughs> you know? And I'm just like, what else do I do? It's my, it's my, it's your fault. Nah. Not my fault. I remember. you had your expectations high. And you know what? I, I want I want his family. If you guys see this, anybody in George's family, if you when you received the gift from George and you loved it, it was me. I'm telling you now because if it was up to George, he would have just got you socks. There would have been some Gucci socks. No. <laughs> and if it was Gucci socks, it was from the African man. George is literally the worst. I put you on blast. You put yourself on blast by bringing Listen, it up. it's the thought that counts. All right. But anyways, guys, let's quickly finish this whole situation. <laughs> um, we are going to come around and do our quick one pot meal. One pot. All right. This is one not going to take but anything because we're but going anything. to... Because George wants some of his sangria, really you heard? Really saute everything, throw these shrimps in, throw the sauces in, throw the seasoning in, throw the cauliflower rice in, and voila. Voila. Bing, bong, boom. <laughs> <laughs> today? Take me today. out to dinner. All right. Bing, bong, boom. Dinner's All ready. ready, guys. Let's see, let's Turn it down. Can you guys see the pots? All right, they can see it. Bing bong, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> then it's, listen, don't, you messed it up. It's not run. ready. No. <laughs> Take me out to dinner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. These awesome. dogs. All right. Video, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my pot on medium heat. Yeah. My frying pan, not my pot. George is cutting up because he don't got nothing to do, okay? I'm enjoying life. Do not entertain this I man. I love my life. So when the pot heats up a little bit, we are going to go ahead and y'all know the concoction. We're going to put some olive oil and some butter. Right? That is always butter. our base. Olive oil and yeah. butter. What you mean, ma? The olive oil. Oh, right there, butter. looking at you. Right there, waiting for you. You use your pink thing. Yeah, I'm over here, guys. Looking. So you guys didn't tell me, what is the worst gift you ever received? The worst man. gift. Because I feel like the time to receive... Horrible so, gifts is secret Santas. 
Secret Santas are the worst because everybody do not care about you. Listen, I love Secret Santa. No, you like Secret Santa because... I get gifts. Listen, I appreciate yeah. anything. You feel me? I only got good friends around me, so... I mean, I get bad. I mean, I get bad teams. Anyway, you're talking about at work. But, um... Secret Santas are the worst. Like, Secret Santas are the worst because... I am the t I am the thoughtful person. I literally like I think about the person. I think about what they can, what they like, what they can use. Like that's the thing for me. It's just like, can you use this? Use some socks. Would it ever? Would you ever <laughs> just put it there and it never be used? Like I really think about the person. Um, and then it's just like that way they know it's from the heart. And I feel like I have never so gotten that same thought. So that's the best gift you ever given. All my gifts are the best gifts I ever gave them. What do you mean? Look, I put smiles on people's faces, okay? I received a light-up soap dispenser from a work secret Santa. Was the work secret Santa um, light-skinned? <laughs> Were you Caucasian? Was that a Caucasian gift? Look... At this point, what did they think you were going to be doing? Like in the listen, bathroom in the people, dark? Hold on. They thought you was going to be in the bathroom in the dark. Like, who? Listen, you, you would never lose it. She said, yeah, See, look. That sound like a, a, a one of them things. Look. Listen, you would never I lose your soul. I am telling you. They was hoping that you was inside the bathroom playing in the dark. Okay? Like, there's no other explanation. There is no other explanation. All right, I'm just going to let my butter and my oil heat up. And we're going to throw the sausages in here. Mm -hmm. I left it there. At the <gasps> no. You left it at the party? See, I'm not that rude. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she blessed it to somebody else. Right. I'm going to at least take it home and re-gift it. The, the, you going to make her to be the bad gifter now? No, but like re-gift it to a child that uh, wants to play in the bathroom in the dark. There you go. <laughs> But um, they they didn't like call you or tell you like try to give it back to you. Can you imagine? Oh, you left you left this at the party. <laughs> let, let me there send you go. it. I, I mailed it to your house. Sure did. They could keep it. <laughs> right? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh man! Yeah. All right. So let me get my sausages. It's mad funny. I left it right there at the party. What was the our best gift I received? Um, the best gift I received uh, was you. Yeah. My dad. When Jesus gave you, you me, so. that was the best thing that ever happened to you, bro. Yeah, I didn't get you for holidays, so it don't count. Well, I have you forever for holidays, but we talk Every about... Every day is a holiday because you're with me. All right, well, I guess that's the gift then. <laughs> no, what is the best gift you ever received, bro? Um, from what can I remember? Um, I guess money is always good. Money is always good. Gift cards. So I feel like I'll, I'll take that. But I feel like that's the thing. You, you just like money. Money, 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 money. You just like money. I don't but, feel um, like I know the... I don't have a worse gift, though. So. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. I would say in general, though, I remember for, was it your 27th birthday or 28th, I gave you 27, I gave you seven gifts to your seventh, your 27th uh, birthday. Oh, that was a good, that was mm -hmm. like, uh, And it was a scavenger hunt through yeah, the house yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Guys, was good. I put thought into things. No, like, I make sure that it's always an experience. Like, Tere is on here. Tere would know, like, I would literally, like, okay, what would she like? What would surprise her? Like, like I like making people happy, Okay. I like nah, making bad. people happy and, you know, putting that big old smile on their faces. But yeah, so now we are just cooking the sausage. I'm going to get nice and brown. So once that gets nice and brown, then we're going to throw in our, um, our peppers. Like I said, this meal is going to be, is gift giving one of your love languages. So, exactly. is it a love language to give? Or I thought it's like when you're receiving gifts, that's a love language. Because do I, like, are you saying like, do I feel love when I give? Because that is true. 
But then it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm a little confused. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I love language. Like, if I was supposed to tell someone, like, oh, that's my love language, are they supposed to give me a gift? Or am I just supposed to shower them? There must be a way that we communicate love as well. I don't you know how to show your love. Yeah, I like oh, to show my love. That would definitely be shown like a gift. So, because so the thing is, even if it's not their love language, I still do it. So, Please. oh, like how do you show love? So, I show love through gift giving. Yes, I, I show love through gift giving, um, showing up, being there whenever they call, like being loyal. Um, spending time if that's what they need, always a lending in. So it's literally like, I feel like a Being part available. of me has always been like a pleaser in that sense. Like I always want to make sure that my friend, um, or family or George or whatever, they felt love. So it's just like, okay, what can I do? So maybe acts of service. I show it through acts of service mm -hmm. and gift yeah, giving. That's, that's probably what it is. Because I do love serving people as well. Uh, these sausages be smelling so good. The turkey ones are the best. I turkey everything. Turkey ground beef is always the best. I don't like how beef sausages taste. They're too salty. Let that cook a little bit and then I'm going to flip them let the other side get really nice and brown. Here is my spatula. So good. Did you season it? No, we're gonna season after. Okay. Have you ever seen me make this way? Or you just uh, eat it when it's done? I might have seen you make it. No, I don't not mine. I never I never see you make it. Yeah, you just and somehow you just appear when the food is finished. He just appears when the food is finished. <laughs> That's a regular sausage now. Smell good. Oh, really, really good. Okay. What are the uh, I know that we are almost like well, we missed last week, which was like the first of the yeah, yeah, the yeah, first week in a month, right? But so far, have you guys done any um, holiday activities? Or like, what is your favorite holiday activity? That's not necessarily Christmas, but it's just like, what do you like to do around the holidays? With friends, family, boyfriend, husband, like what is your go-to thing? Girlfriend. Just, girlfriend. Wife. Wife. I forgot that there's guys that what? watch this. <laughs> yes, girlfriend, wife. What do you guys like to do around the holidays? Some activities. You could probably give me some ideas too, so that we could do. So George could take me out, take me out to eat. <laughs> baby. Take me out to eat, baby. Take me out to eat, baby. Hi. All right, we are letting them sausages brown. And now, I'm going to go ahead and put my peppers. You don't put in the scallion as yet. The scallion is going to be the garnish. 
is making a gingerbread house fun. I might do that. Oh. So we did the, the gingerbread house challenge on our YouTube channel last year. And um, it was pretty fun. I feel like not by yourself. <laughs> like, not by yourself, but if it was like a competition or, you know, I mean, no. Oh, Maybe, good. yeah, I mean, like, if you're, like, a person that likes to sit down, like, you know, and you have free time and you want to build a really cute gingerbread house to look at and then eat after or not eat, you could do that. But I feel like when it gets into, like, the competition or, like, time something and you're really trying to make something cute in a in a um, little bit of time, it gets really, really fun. So, that could be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all talking to the Grinch. <laughs> I don't know. But watch. it was fun when we did it for our YouTube channel. It really was. Yeah, we watch movies. Yeah. I feel like those are everyday things. Yeah, yeah that does sound fun. Holiday theme movies. All right. So for those who are now joining, we are making cauliflower jambalaya. I'm going to say it again. Um, we have cut up our bell peppers. I had two different colors because I love those vibrant colors and dishes. Um, right now, we are... Just browning our turkey kielbasa sausage, uh, and then what we're gonna do is add the shrimp. It's fun to decorate with a group. Decorate how? Like your house, like your own house, or like decorate what? Like the tree. So you just like bring your friends over and say, "Hey, help me." <laughs> oh, if we got a big family. <laughs> Okay, that's the thing. It's just George and I, and I've always had like a smaller family, so maybe. Ga yes, I like gatherings. So she says, so I should probably have a game night and do it. Right. But the thing is, you're gonna have to buy a bunch of gingerbread houses, and, and them joints is them joints is not super cheap. Not cheap. They're like five to ten dollars a house. I think more than that. Yeah. Yo, this alone, I can eat. I don't know if y'all see this. I wish that Instagram had, like, amazing quality. But do y'all see? Like, this alone. Ugh. I can eat for breakfast. Like, usually I do something like this, and I add some maple and some ketchup and make a really, really saucy, um... Sausage dish to go with some eggs and the whole thing. All right, so now what we are going to do, we're going to throw in our Cajun shrimp. Make it from scratch. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> oh man, I thought this time to bring up this. Yeah. I'm not Make it from scratch. Yeah, that is too much. I feel like that's very movie-like. And I want to be like that one day. I want to be like that where I'm just like, oh, let me make things from scratch around the holidays. And let's, you know, I don't know, sit around the fire. <laughs> like, I want to do that. Oh, you know, oh, s'mores. S'mores, okay. But what I would say is that this holiday... I would like to give one of my neighbors a really cute um, gift basket because since we moved here, um, what, almost a year or two ago, two years. right, like two years now, there's been one consistent family um, that has been just showing like love Good. in a sense. It's just like every time we see them, they're saying hello, like how are you? Every time we drive by, they're like waving it literally looks like a movie unless they're killers and we don't know but i want to give them something because everybody in our neighborhood wasn't welcoming because we are in a predominantly white neighborhood and so everyone wasn't as welcoming but they literally from from then until now same energy and i respect consistency like they have not failed so that's one thing that i think i'll be doing that's going to bring me joy around the season is gifting them um, a, basket. a nice holiday basket that I think they will appreciate. And then in a letter, just letting them know like who we are and that we really appreciate, you know, how they've treated us. 
take them some Christmas cookies. He's, okay, here's what. I don't want to take them any food or anything that I've made because they might throw it out. Because me, I would. I'm not going to lie to you. If strangers came to me and gave me anything, I'm throwing it out. So I'm going to have like, you know, I don't know if you guys see in BJ's or Costco, like the big pre-packaged um, baskets. baskets with like chocolates and different things in it. I feel like that's safe. Right, Christmas is forgiving. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to make anything because I'll definitely throw out somebody casserole. That's what we thought. When we moved into this neighborhood, we were just like, oh, we're about to get the casseroles and all these different things. But, um, Sight. yeah, they didn't care about us. <laughs> they didn't really Plenty care about us. Right, that's definitely in movies. The movies made me think that, you know... All right, so I'm going to flip my shrimp about two minutes on each side. Um, I do that with food at my neighbor, that my neighbor shop off. You see? I drop my food. Right, I want to know, like, what people think when they're just like, oh, I'm going to cook. I'm going to make them something. And, um, and bring, like, something you know how you get to my neighbor. Um, when you say, oh, it's so good, and they keep bringing it back. <laughs> Right, but you when you fake it just a little bit, and then they're just like, Oh, they love my cooking. Let me go ahead. But yeah, so now you guys can see we have sausages. Oh, we have sausages, Cajun shrimp, peppers all in here. So you already know this is pepper look flavor. Ready. It looked ready already, right? Yeah. Like we could just eat this. Right? But now what we're gonna do, we are gonna add in our roasted tomatoes. Right? I tell you guys this is all one pot. Give that a little mix around. One pot. Who loves a good one pot meal? Right? Roasted tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. That looks so good, girl. It is. It is. Yo, George already is here. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Yeah, going to work to work, to work the appetite. I feel like these are the, the the type of meals you know you give your kids. It's just like, give me one second, you throw everything in a pot, <laughs> and that way everything comes out. And it was good. That has so much flavor, and it was like has a lot of like meat in it. You got the yeah. sausages. You got the. You want to take the shrimp? Yeah, you know I'm here for it, girl. Tell me how it tastes. Tell the mm. tell the people. Tell the people. Mango. It's good already. Do we want to eat it just like this? Hold on, I want to take some. Oh, it's good season too. It's nice and seasoned. Mango. Mmm. Go some good shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. So what I'm gonna do. Okay. What I am going to do, get my spoon now. I'm going to add some oregano. For those who are coming in, for those who are coming in, I am making cauliflower jambalaya, right? We're getting nice lemon chum. We're not using rice. I already um, cut up my veggies, put them in there. I just added the roasted peppers um, to my sauteed sweet, I mean roasted tomatoes to my sauteed sweet peppers. We have some Cajun shrimp in there. We have our kielbasa sausage. Um, and it's just it's just cooking up. And we didn't even add in our cauliflower rice yet. And the thing, what I love about cauliflower rice, it just soaks up all of the flavor that's in this pot. So let me go get my oregano. Hold on. So I'm gonna go ahead. And just add a little teaspoon of oregano in there. We're going to mix it up. We're going to taste it. See if it just needs a little bit more salt or not. It shouldn't. But I'm telling you, the flavors are packed. Packed to capacity. Uh, it's definitely good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I could just like, yeah. 
I need this recipe. I got you, boo. I got you, boo. I had done a reel to this back in January or February, and literally, we make this all the time. No, it's definitely good. Mm -hmm. Look at the juices just flowing out. Uh, all right, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to eat one more. It's really good. Mm. Mm. This is good. All right, let me taste the sauce. Sauce has got to be good. Mm-hmm. You want to taste it? You don't want to taste it? It's you just, you. You just want to eat it after? You ready to eat it? Hey, everyone. Mm. Oh, guys, y'all here eating the steaming hot food. Yes, nobody else eat out the pot. <laughs> Yummy, y'all food to be cool. Like, yes. So we're letting that boil up just a little bit. We're letting that boil up just a little bit. So now, I have here... And look, the meal is really about to be finished. I have here... My cauliflower rice. I get it from Costco. I haven't seen it in BJ's. So the only place that I usually get it is in Costco. Already good price. Right? Already crushed up. They're usually frozen. Um, But yeah. So just a little recap. We have Cajun shrimp in here. We have our turkey, kielbasa, sausage. We have some roasted red tomatoes. We have sweet peppers. Um, And now we're going to add to soak up all of this juice. Do y'all see? Can y'all? Let me give them just a, a nice so little amazing. View before I put it's in. It's amazing. Before I put in my um my rice, it's just like guys. Yes. Hopefully, you guys can see because I just wish like their camera quality was a one. It looks so blurry, but hey. <laughs> but guys, it's good. I promise you. It's some good, good stuff. I can't wait to eat. I didn't eat all day. All right. Back up a little bit. All right. So now we are going to go ahead. Yeah, I see. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add our cauliflower rice. Right, like I said, one pot, everything going in the one pot. What? Let me get the spoon. Ow, it's hot. See it? The spoon is hot? Oh. Mm. Let's see. Mm. 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 It's like um, a leaf. A leaf? Mm hmm. Oh, no leaves in there, buddy. And we have one. That's not hot. Be careful. Mm hmm. I'm going to put on a half of that bag just to gauge and see if I have enough sauce for two bags. Yeah. But hey, you finally made it to a live. <laughs> you finally made it on time to a live. Tonight we are making cauliflower jambalaya. Guys, look at this. Look. This is one of George's favorite, favorite meals. So good. Okay. All of the Cajun is in there. Let me tell you. Only two bags are good. Now, you know what this makes me want to do? I want to go to New Orleans. New Orleans. That's what they call it, right? I want to go and I want them to make me a jambalaya, a gumbo. Because I've made a seafood gumbo before. But um, I want them to make it. Just so I know what I'm doing is right and not disrespectful. <laughs> like, I don't want to disrespect people. Put some more seasoning in it. But um, I got to take a, I gotta take a trip to New Orleans. I, I got to make sure that I'm not disrespecting, disrespecting the them. Yeah, man. Because I've seen, I don't know if you guys seen on BuzzFeed, they did Bayesian traditional dish. And did not make, and it was supposed to be, um, it was supposed to be salt, not saltfish, flying fish and cuckoo, right? They didn't make it at all. They didn't use, um, flying fish. They used some type of codfish or something. No, not codfish. Some, some, look, 
So, it wasn't flying. It wasn't flying fish. It wasn't cuckoo. It wasn't none of the sauce that, like, they literally disrespected the whole Beijing culture. But, um, you know, I feel like I can add the rest of the bag. All right, so that's two bags. And so what we're going to do now, because the reason this wouldn't dry out, y'all know cauliflower also releases water. It's literally just vegetables, right? We just got veggies and meat in here at the end of the day, which makes it an amazing meal. Sometimes I eat this with a salad too. So... When I'm telling you the pounds is getting dropped off, it's getting dropped off in the best way. Yes, All right, so I'm gonna take this now. Let me taste a little bit of it. All right. So now because it's cold, the um the cauliflower rice, we're gonna go ahead, put our cover on. We're gonna turn our down down our um, heat Five. between medium and low and we're just gonna let everything infuse and get nice and warm and guess who is about to take the wheel oh. the man of the hour who everybody be, be wanting to see bartender. the bartender okay bartender. this seems like your favorite favorite um, part of the show I honestly feel like y'all give him. That's my, that's my intro. You're so annoying. Why are you so annoying? Anyways, I feel like this is y'all favorite part of the show. When y'all see this man. He's so irritating. Not even funny. <laughs> good night, good night. The bartender's in the building. All right, so we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it simple, just like the meal. Yes, we are keeping it simple tonight. So we got Simple and healthy. Yes, yes, yes. So we got this white berry sangria. Mm hmm So, All right, so what's that? Pinot Grigio. We got some Pinot. Yeah, this is a, a dry wine, but dry wines pair well with seafood. So I got this, and then I'm going to throw some, um, I'm going to blend them some berries to give the, um, the to get the wine, the sweetening, give it a fruity flavor. Mm hmm And then a fresh fruity flavor. And then we'll throw some more in it. But go we'll see, go we'll see. All right, so first, here you go. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna uh, excuse me, excuse me. No, 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 because you was all up in my space, so now it could be all up in yours. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, how you feel? It's, does it feel weird? Does it feel annoying? Something like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't like fret for the people. Go, we just put a little bit in here. Those fruits look fresh, they are. Right, so we got, um, a cup of raspberries, a cup of blueberries, and eight strawberries. But I'm just gonna put some strawberries and raspberry in it just to give it a little blend, just to sort of. Um, You're putting all of them. All of them? Yeah. yeah I'll put all of them. Well, my co-host said we put in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so we gonna put all of them. We literally create these recipes that he forgets every time. But it's a fourth cup of. Um, blueberries, a fourth of raspberries, and uh, eight strawberries. It, I mean, a half cup. I said it's that already. No, you actually said a cup. Run it back. Run it back, Turbo. A half a cup. <laughs> this is us naturally in the kitchen, okay? Like, we bicker like it's nobody's business. Eight but strawberries, yeah. half a cup of raspberries, and a half a cup of blueberries. Gonna blend that up. Blend it up a real good. Here you go. And our uh, famous ninja. Ooh, that looks good. Do it more. Do it more. Yeah. Okay. It look good. It's like a good smoothie. Uh huh. I want to taste it. Un momento. All right. I want to so, taste. I know it tastes good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fresh fruits. That's one thing I love. I love some fruits. So we're just going to pour some in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. It tastes mad good. And guys, this is a healthier option. Instead of getting the sweet wines, because here's tea. Instead of getting the really, really sweet wines, 
Um, and That's then the, it tastes really good. Ooh. <laughs> and then the alcohol volume decreases because now it's just really sweet for sugar. Get a drier wine and sweeten it yourself with some fresh fruits. I said. Like, first of all, this is beautiful. And so, what are you doing now, babe? Uh, I'm filling it up with the Prino Grigio. Fill it all the way up, baby. Take me out to dinner. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Take me out to dinner, baby. That's it. Ooh. Uh. Let me stir it up. Actually, that's my stir. Ooh. Ooh. Be right back. Do you guys see this? Do you guys? <sighs> Let me go check on the, um, oh my God. I feel like I want to eat now. But, one to taste it. Let me go check and see if, see how our, um, how our jambalaya is doing. Oh yeah, everything is heating up nicely. I'm going to taste it again just to see now that the, um, now that the cauliflower absorbed all of the juices. Let's see if it needs just a little bit more salt. But I'm gonna taste it now and see. It's good. Yeah, just like I thought. Yeah, a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add. I don't even drink, but I would definitely give that a little sip. Yes, sir. Look. So go ahead. What you doing now, baby? I'm just blending it up. I mean, stirring it up. Just to give it that look. Give that. You know that white berry look. All right, I'm gonna go ahead in the back and add a, um, about a teaspoon or two teaspoons of some Cajun, cause you know Cajun Listen. seasoning has salt in it, and I'll probably add a little bit more garlic. Babe, hey, that looks so good. Babe, hey, that Once looks again, I have executed. so good. Listen, I'm here for y'all. Like he's doing y'all right. I I see why you guys you guys like him. Maybe you I just smell it. Just smell it. Smelling oh. it alone is like delicioso. Yeah, no, that's good. Here we go, so we can taste a little swiggy swig. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me mix this up. Okay. How y'all feel? How y'all feeling this drink though? All right, of all the drinks that he's made so far, what are you guys I favorite? This, I don't know. I really like the um. What was the what other one I did? The uh, other sangria was busting, but this one, I feel like I, I could, I could dig this one. Okay. Let's just see how it looks. How it's tasting? Mm. Is there? Mm. Mm-hmm. Do we need some? We should have made some, um, mm. some garlic bread. No, we're, we're not going to I'm sorry. Y'all see? Supposed to say that. No, but do y'all see the we'll problem? Garlic bread later. All right, so let's taste right, that. Cheers. Oh, I'm gonna show them again. I did that already. Guys, this looks good. Cheers, babe. Mmm. Well, this is good. You know what? When I look back at the lives, I'm just like, yo, my, <laughs> my face be so serious when I taste good stuff. Like, you gotta get out. Cheers. This looks good. Oh, God, I'm sorry. My pinky out because we fancy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Drink up. No, this is good. Oh, this is good. I, I, I don't mess with this. All right. This is really good. One day, I don't know if George is going to be selling these recipes or if he's going to put these on our Lovers Kitchen website for you guys, but nice. you guys need to, to make this. For the world to see. You guys need to make this. And so now, guess what? Guess what? And guess what? The food is finished. Look at how easy that was. Like, we're not here for a thousand hours. The food is finished. The drink is finished. So now I'm about to bring the food over and we are going to garnish it and... That's it, voila. That's it. Magic. Voila. You're gonna get the bowls? Yeah. The sure. white square ones, yeah. Take me out to dinner, baby. Take me out to dinner. The drinks look good. They are. They are good. All right. Oh. Bring this over. 
guys one pot one pot 30 minutes or less the only reason i'll tell you guys it took a little over 30 minutes because you know i like to talk but 30 minutes or less one pot one we pie. got peppers oh, yeah. in here we have cajun shrimp in here we have roasted red um tomatoes like this jambalaya all right, and then what we're gonna do, because I did not forget, Garnish. we're gonna take our scallion, I mean flavor, flavor on flavor, flavor on, on flavor, flavor on flavor. flavor. Right, it's just like, you don't have to lose weight and be missing out on flavor. Like, I don't know who told right, the world right. this, but it is false. It's one of the lies from home. It had to be the, <laughs> it had to be the devil that told someone, in order to lose weight, you must not eat right. Mm, who made that? You must not enjoy the food that God has given. Mm -hmm. Some some devil man said that. I'm actually gonna make that this week. Thanks for the inspiration. I've been influenced. Yay! All right. What's the drink you? though? Come Guys. With the drink. Cauliflower jambalaya. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, well, like drop some food bowls inside of the comments <laughs> if this look good. Show, show some love, okay? Show some love, guys. And then the drink. And then the drinks. That's it. Tonight was a really good meal. It was really, really quick. It looks amazing. I love how quick it was. We are no longer doing these long lives. It would be really quick meals, okay? Quick, easy, um, flavorful, juicy. That's just how we're going to do it from now on, okay? And we have some collabs coming up in the future. I know we have some moms on here. Um, I'm going to be doing some quick meals for you guys too because I know that you guys are busy. It is To be a mom is to be busy for life. Okay, so I know that you guys still have to feed yourselves and your kids you. and fathers. I'm sorry, babe. Yeah. <laughs> He's just always just like, you know, that there's guys. To be a parent is to yes. be busy. Is that better? Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> to be a mom. Yeah, look out for my people there. But um, let me, let me put this in our bowl for us to eat. <sighs> This looks really good. Chop up some more stallion for me. Okay. Ooh. We eating good tonight, babe. We always eating good. Look, when they ask you at work, what's that smell, bro? They always ask me at work. <laughs> What's that smell? Be like, go watch our live. Hey, that's it. That's <laughs> go go watch my, my wife's live, all right? That's what that smell is. All right. Just add a little bit more. There we go. Put this back over here. Let me put some more in here. I can carry it away. You did. You always do. Always do. But just like that, guys. Dinner for two. Dinner for two is served. That's it. And it's so pretty. I feel like I love colors. Looks amazing. I'm sure it tastes just as good as... That's the only way we do it. Only way we do it in the Lovebirds kitchen. But it's really, really pretty. Really flavorful. We have our, our nice drinks. Tonight is gonna be a good night, mm. and I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't feeling good earlier, but this actually cheered me up because I ate something <laughs> from Aldi that made me sick. Hey, and hey, don't talk about Aldi. Don't talk about Aldi like that. Know, we don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. All right, we don't know what. But happened. anyways, this is cheering me up because I love a good jambalaya, and I love that this is all vegetables and meat. That's it. Shit. You have no rice, no pasta, no nothing. And that's what we're going to be doing until um we look nice, until we look good, until we get rid of the tummies. Okay? 
All right. So, just to let you guys know, again, for those who are joining, tonight we made cauliflower. We made cauliflower jambalaya. We also made white berry sangria. sangria. We blended up some fresh berries, and we put it with some Pinot Grigio. Um, and that's it. So, I, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this one. Um, what are we making next week, babe? Yo no sé. What do I want to make next week? I, I feel like I want to do a loaded salad. Mm. But like a really good, flavorful, loaded salad. Or probably like, ooh, should I do like a, a, a taco salad? Right? So that we can do all of the um, like pico de gallo and all of the flavors. Should, should we do shrimp again? Yeah, yeah, ooh. And like a, a, a salmon taco salad. Mm. Guys, it's coming. A salmon drink. taco salad. What do you what do you want to make from some drinks? For to, to go with that. It has to have mm. tequila. Okay. Sounds so like tequila. We're gonna try to make a healthy margarita. So a salmon, right? So it's gonna have like salmon bites in it, right? Alright, so we're gonna do like a salmon taco salad next week, right? Loaded salad. I'm gonna say loaded, it's gonna be loaded. Um and also, you know, loaded with the greens and all the good stuff. But it's gonna be loaded. And margaritas. We're gonna try to figure out how to make margaritas healthy. I'm excited! Tequila good for you. Tequila good for you? <laughs> it's burning the fat? That's it. Look. But yeah, guys, so thank you guys for joining Sunday Dinner with the Lovebirds. We enjoyed you guys tonight. Um, we made some amazing food. If you guys want this recipe, I will be uploading the nice. previous recipes and this recipe shortly. I told you guys before, things been happening in this social media world that has prevented me from just doing what I have to do, but we're back on it. And all of these good recipes will be free until New Year's. Until New Year's. That's the secret. Talk to me nice. That's the little secret because I need you guys to take advantage of this now because once the ball drop, the price has went up. Yesterday's price is not today's price and so all my little day ones that take advantage take advantage because it's not always going to be like this okay we're putting a price on these good things but anyways i hope you guys have a beautiful night i hope you guys enjoyed your sunday i hope you guys enjoyed the show and we will see you guys next week bye <laughs>